This is the introduction to test tubes for division, and we'll be doing a problem with a one-digit divisor. For doing division, we're using this material, which are called the test tubes, or some people call them Raxon tubes. And um, I'd like to introduce you to the parts of this work. There's a board. And this board has the numerals 1 through 9 on a green rectangle. When I do a division problem, my divisor in the units place will be represented on this board with these skittles. So the skittles, the green skittles, represent the units place of the divisor. And if I were doing a problem where the divisor were 3, I would put out three green skittles on the green board. The test tubes are arranged in hierarchical colors. Green stands for units, blue stands for tens, red stands for hundreds, and these three sets of hierarchical beads are in white stands. You can see them. Those represent the simple hierarchy, units, tens, hundreds. There's also units of thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and gray bases, and then units of millions. And these beads are used to represent the dividend, the number that we're dividing. So here's the divisor. The dividend will create with beads. And when we take the beads from the test tubes, We'll put them in cups that also have the hierarchical and the value colors in them. So the problem is 9 divided by 3. 3 is my divisor, represented by 3 green skittles. My dividend is 9, and it's a units place dividend. So I'm going to take 9 beads from one of the test tubes, and I notice that there are and should always be 10 beads in every test tube. So 9 is all of the beads but 1. It's easier than counting beads. And in division, there, is, there are three rules. The first rule is that every Skittle has to get exactly the same amount, their fair share. The second rule is that if there's anything left over, a remainder, in other words, it can't be greater than the divisor. So if my divisor is 3, I can't have a remainder that's equal to or greater than 3. And the third rule in division is that the answer, which is also called the quotient, is what one Skittle gets. So the rule in division is everybody has to have exactly the same amount, their fair share. So each of the Skittles gets one. That's fair. Each of the Skittles gets two. That's fair. And are there enough? Yes. Each of the Skittles gets three. So they have the same amount. They're, that's fair. There's no remainder. And the answer is what one Skittle gets, which is 3. So 9 divided by 3 equals 3.